Hello friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and I'm back with another Celebration Saturday card. Today we're going to be making a card using the Sending Support Stamp Set. And I think as card makers we can never have too many sentiments for our cards and this set is gorgeous for any kind of supportive card. If you know someone who's going through an illness or a loss of some sort, uh, this is a great stamp set for that. Um, it's, it's really knocks home the fact that a card is just a hug with a fold in the middle. And um, I love this set. So we're gonna be using this today to create an encouragement card. And this card, this stamp set can be found on page nine of the Celebration Flyer. So this set is free with a $50 order. And there's a couple of really beautiful uh, examples using this stamp set in the actual flyer. So you can get some ideas for uh, pairing the sentiments with um, different card styles and designs. So we're also, in addition to showing you this really pretty stamp set, we're gonna be using some pretty papers from one of the new uh, collections in the mini catalog. So this is from the Regency uh, paper packet, and let me see here. I've got, it's the Fancy Flora paper pack, and this is a six by six paper pack. It has some beautiful uh, color. It's got a great, I mean, a really gorgeous color palette. It's basically the rain, the Stampin' Up! rainbow, really. You can use just about any color with it. Um, absolutely beautiful, like oil painted patterns and textures. And it's similar to a, um, a paper packet that we had, the art, um, that artistic paper packet we had in the last spring catalog. Um, I really love it. I think it's beautiful. I love all the different patterns. But if you're not a fan of all these um, blobs of color, of oil color, the back side of these papers might be more your style. So these are kind of pretty too, very soft in terms of color. And um, you can really pair them with pretty much any stamp set. So it's kind of fun. We're going to be using, um, I made a card. I made a sample card just to kind of try this out, to try using this paper, and I really like this design. Um, I'm just going to pick a different color, and I think we'll use this one. It's the same color palette, but it's a different piece of the paper, and I'll show you another card design using this. There's so many different ones to choose from. I was thinking this one might be pretty, too. It's got the yellow in it, and I really like it, and it has kind of the implied roses which is also very pretty. So there's a lot of things you can do with this paper and there's a lot of different moods you can convey with it too, which is nice. So let's um, let's cut this piece down a little bit. So I'm thinking um, I want a little bit of this brown showing. So I think I'm gonna go with this, this, um, this cut and I'm gonna cut it here to five and a quarter. I just wanna cut a panel for the front of my card that we're gonna work off of. And I like to save my scraps. So one of the scraps is this piece that flips over. And um, we could use this as an anchoring piece for this particular card. But um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to put it to the side. Only because it doesn't have the suede color. It has the gray instead. And I want to use the soft suede. So <clears throat> that's the little panel we're going to use. And in addition to this... I have a few other products that I pulled out. So sometimes when the paper's really busy like this, I like to use um, a die cut as kind of the focal image. And um, here I'm gonna layer a couple of die cuts. So I pulled out my Forever Flourishing dies. These are the dies that went with the Forever Greenery uh, stamp set. They coordinate, so when you stamp um, the leaves and different botanicals from the Forever Greenery stamp set, you can cut them out using the outline dies, but then it also has a whole selection of detail dies that you can use. And so I pulled one of the flower, uh, one of the leaf stems from that, and we're going to use that. And then sometimes when I'm making a card like this, um, a plain layer is beautiful and create can create a focal impact different from a patterned or textured layer. But I wanted to add a little bit more texture. So instead of using the plain one, I embossed one and we're going to use the embossed layer instead. So I'm going to put that to the side, and I'm going to pull out a little panel. Another thing I like to do when I'm using paper that's really um, kind of heavy fo focus is on the paper, I like to look through my whole die collection and see what I can find for sentiment layers, like sentiment panels, and then other different layers. And so I went through and I found that my, um, my seasonal labels dies, these are from a Christmas stamp set 
that's in the annual catalog has some great label shapes that um, are perfect for this little one is perfect for this a lot of the sentiments in this set so I pulled that and I die cut the little label from this particular die set and a lot of you probably have this it's been around for a, for a while now and uh, so that's how I kind of came to that because that will fit perfectly my sentiment so for the embossed the embossing on the little circle die cut, I chose the quatrefoil tile embossing folder. I know that one has been on back order for a while, but I think it's if it's not already in, it's due to be in very soon, so you can get your hands on that if you don't have it. So I'm going to take a white, basic white thick base card as my base layer, and then I'm going to add this beautiful paper to it. this. I'm just going to center it on there. And then I'm going to take um, and I'm going to add my circle, my quatrefoil tile circle. And I'm just going to glue it flat to the card to the bottom right corner here like this. And then I'm going to add a few drops of adhesive to the back of my little die cut here. I cut this out of Calypso Coral so it would coordinate with my paper. A lot of times, or very most of the time, whenever I'm creating a card using a paper like this, I will pull the color palette right out of the paper itself, just so that everything coordinates. That's one of the beautiful things about Stampin' Up! and their product line. And now I'm going to bring in the stamp set. So I had a, a choice of sentiments, obviously, that I could have used for this card. Um, a few of them fit good for this particular panel, but I chose Here For You Always. And um, I'm going to leave the inside blank just so that whoever um, gets this card can write in it. A lot of the cards that I make, I sell on consignment or through my craft fairs. And uh, this card will probably go into that lot if I don't use it myself. So I'm just going to stamp that little sentiment on there using soft suede ink. So I'm pulling the soft suede from this particular paper, sheet of paper. And then I'm going to add this layer with some... Oops, with some dimensionals, and I've got some of these mini dimensionals, which will be perfect for this. So I'll pop this up a little bit. And I'm just going to put this here. Well, I think what I'm going to do is trim off the stem a little bit so that doesn't stick out. And then I'll add this layer. I think I'll put it off to the side a little bit. It's more centered, just like that. And then I'm gonna embellish it a little bit. So it's a little plain right now, but I'm gonna add something to embellish it. I think I'll add some of this gold cord. And I'm just gonna make a bow. I do love this elegant trim. That's what it's called, the elegant trim pack. And um, I think I'll make a smaller tail on it. good to me and then I'm just going to um, add this to my card with a glue dot just add that right there to add a little sparkle and then I'm going to go with some of the new pastel adhesive back sequins these are beautiful they go gorgeous with this paper pack and um, they actually coordinate with a lot of different things. There's a pale pink iridescent, a pale blue iridescent, and then these gorgeous gold, which are really, really pretty. I'm just going to put a couple of these on here, too. Like that. And then that nice gold kind of brings in this little bit of gold here on the card front. And then it just is, this card has a very warm tone to it because of the color palette. And um, I really like how that looks. So anyway, so that's the card for today. So again, the Sending Support stamp set free with a $50 order during celebration. I'll have the item numbers and the products I used in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That tells YouTube to share my videos more. And um, I appreciate you watching. So thanks a lot and have a great weekend.